Is Madam Web better than the new Wendy's breakfast burrito? Well, there's one thing these two consumer products have in common, and that's that they were both created by a billion dollar company to drain you dry like Jacob Elordi's bathtub, but that won't stop you, will it? Having said that, let's give this a bite. Mm. This burrito is filled with eggs, bacon, potatoes, and cheese, and I don't usually like potatoes in my burrito, but these potatoes, I don't mind at all. I actually really like them. They're seasoned to perfection, and they're like little pockets of flavor. But speaking of starch, Madam Web needs some starch to iron out the wrinkles in the plot of this movie, let me tell you. Now, let me be clear. For most of this movie, I was like, okay, guys, this is a little bit of an overreaction. This movie is not that bad. Some people were comparing this to The Room. Th this movie is not as bad as The Room, guys. Everybody betrayed me. I fed up with this world. Because it's Starts out cheesy, yes. Her mom is hunting Peruvian spiders to cure, you know, when, and then the movie kind of gets interesting though, because I actually dig the whole power concept where Madam Web would see something that happened just a little bit in the future and she could either change the outcome of that future prediction or not. It had real stakes, even the pigeon like hitting the window. You saw her have the future prediction and then there were, there were stakes immediately. Like if she didn't open the window, the pigeon was gonna hit the window and die. Speaking of stakes though, what goes good with stakes? Eggs. And one thing I love about this breakfast burrito is that the eggs are not scrambled, they are fried and wrapped around the burrito and I don't care what you say, scrambled eggs have a different taste than fried eggs, even though they're basically the same thing. But the flavor of the bacon here kind of gets lost in the mix. And, um, you know, also so does the good parts of Madam Web that I just mentioned. They get lost in the mix of the movie. But w before I say that, one more thing I really did like was the toxic scene. I don't know if anybody else liked it, but I thought it was really cool. Instead of like having a, a clock counting down from one minute to zero to show that time is running out, you have a song counting down, but it gets lost in the mix. Because shortly after that, things go completely off the rails with her traveling back to Peru and just somehow magically meeting the person she needed to meet. And then she gets pushed into this lake and like splits. And then she goes back and then she, uh, the, and then, some really cheesy things happen. Speaking of cheese, I think this is like a nacho style cheese, which reminds me of the Fiesta potato burrito from Taco Bell, which I absolutely love. And I think it elevates this to a new level. Most of the flavor I'm getting here are potatoes, eggs, and cheese, which I'm actually fine with because they're seasoned re very well. And I don't know what else to say about this. Let's go back to Madam Web. Somebody needs to explain this scene to me when Madam Web like gets in the ambulance and drives through a parking garage wall. Did I miss something with that? Was it not actually a wall? She just like drove through a concrete wall and hit the villain. Why? How? That and the fact that when they were walking through the fireworks place and she just decided to, you know, commit terrorism and set the entire fireworks factory on fire. Um, but the, the cheesiest part of that was when she launched a firework at a brick wall and somehow the firework blew up a brick wall, but you didn't actually see the explosion. It just kind of happened. And then the final scene was so freaking cheesy. The way that the guy like fell off the billboard, obviously, oh, that's weird. But my question is, did he not have future seeing powers too? Were hers just like that much better somehow, even though she just started? Could he not, because listen, one thing I'm very frustrated about is I think this movie could have been really interesting. Like I said, I like the concept, the power concept is something we haven't seen before and it can lead to a lot of interesting scenarios, especially if the villain has the same power because they could both be seeing the future at the same time and trying to outwit each other because they both know what's going to happen at certain times and they're just dodging each other's attacks and stuff and it could have been a lot more interesting um, instead of just having him fall off a billboard. So in conclusion, is Madam Web better than this? Well, uh, this cost me five bucks. Madam Web cost me, I guess, 30 bucks a month for AMC Stubbs. Um, this tastes a lot better. Although Madam Web is, it, it's still a pretty fun movie to watch, but this burrito surpassed my expectations a little bit. So I'm gonna have to give the win to this.